We are now at that stage where sentencing must be imposed. The uh, defense will start off by producing uh, evidence in mitigation. They can call a number of witnesses, we don't know how many. Uh, obviously we'll go through the same procedure, cross-examination, etc. And then uh, they will close their case and then it's the state's prerogative then to call witnesses in aggravation. Similar fashion, cross-examination and what have you. We don't know how many witnesses the state will call. And only after that we will get to the argument stage where the judge might even be inclined once again to ask for written heads of argument on sentencing. He is found guilty of culpable homicide. Obviously there are a couple of sentencing options available. There are numerous in actual fact. But I th do think about three or four possibilities are up there. A penalty fine. Remember the family can't afford whatever the, the court imposes on a penalty wise. Maybe coupled with a suspended sentence. Then obviously there is the prerogative of direct imprisonment up to 15 years. However, I do s don't think that is a very realistic option. Uh, the, the, the 15 years direct imprisonment may be a lesser uh, a time uh, of custodial sentence. Then obviously there's the prerogative to impose what we call correctional supervision. And there are basically two forms of correctional supervision, which is kind of an umbrella uh, uh, sentencing option, including house arrest, uh, victim compensation, attending rehabilitative programs, etc., house arrest, uh, and so on and so forth. Character evidence is now, for once, very, very important and uh, gets to, goes to the heart of it.